Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, November the 9th, 2011. Well, the change of trend today and a very large red body candle that's made a lower high and a lower low. Quite a dramatic sell-off today, a lot of downside momentum. The sellers have closed this market with very strong control and shown very strong commitment to taking this market lower. Previous few days trading we had uh, green body candles testing to higher levels up around 12.75 with the buyers uh, uh, showing strong commitment to taking that market higher and all of a sudden a downturn today coincided with that level around 12.75. Uh, today's trading we took out some important areas of support the area at 12.46 and 12.32 and then also uh, this zone that extended from 1240 up to around 1253 where we saw these shadows on these two recent candles so some very solid uh, previous support in this region the market will be testing down to another significant support area around roughly 1219 where we tested to uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago and then uh, down below there to the cloud so if this market does continue selling off we should see good support coming in especially down around the top of the cloud and at, at the round number 1200 the support from the cloud extends all the way down through to about 1144 now in terms of Ichimoku uh, we are trading up above the cloud so this market is maintaining its overall positive uh, bias uh, we are bullish in the medium term time frame still and uh, that's represented by the pink line here the Kijun Sen so we're trading up above the Kijun Sen and that will potentially offer strong support around that 1200 level if, as well if the market does test down around there we have turned negative in the short term time frame however by trading down below the Tenkan Sen as we can see the green line here and it's been a couple of weeks since we've been trading down below there we, previously we did test once down below there fairly similar sort of candle although the size of the body is much larger for today's trading but uh, there is still a chance that this market could hold up around uh, one of these major support levels uh, soon and then bounce off that and uh, retest above the tank and sand. Although there aren't any signs of that happening at the moment, uh, we don't have any reversal signals or, or whatever. The bears have uh, shown very strong commitment to taking this market lower today, so the probability is that the trend will continue down. Uh, looking at the chicka span here, that is above the corresponding price action, so that's confirming um, bullishness that we're seeing in big picture terms, but that could change very shortly in the market. If it does trade within the cloud, could be neutral in big picture terms. So we have a market that's maintaining uh, bullishness in uh, both the longer term and the medium term time frame, but we are retracing back towards those areas and now negative in the short term time frame. Next on to gold, and here we see a market where we have had a change of trend. We have had a candle that's made a lower high and a lower low. Having said that, however, the sellers aren't uh, supporting this new trend to the downside very strongly. We have a green body candle, although only a fairly small green body, but we haven't seen the bears making net, uh, or the sellers making net bearish progress. Uh, today we've seen the buyers make net bullish progress although only a fairly small amount uh, we've also seen the buyers close with control of this market because they've closed up between the midpoint level and the high and uh, that means that uh, they haven't closed with strong control but it's a, a moderate level of control we also see the large shadow on the bottom represents the sellers losing commitment as they were testing down around these levels around 1765 and that area coincides with this high roughly and roughly with the high of this previous red body candle so uh, that uh, minor level of resistance has turned into support for this market so it will be an important level for the market tomorrow if there is going to be a continuation of the trend to the downside uh, we have uh, a small shadow on the top of the candle as well and that was when the market was interacting with the 1800 level a round number previous level of uh, resistance for this market and that represented the buyers losing commitment so we've had buyers and sellers losing commitment today a spinning top type candle rather indecisive but uh, the buyers have maintained their ascendancy in this market although not very strong in the short term time frame in the longer time frame the market is trading up above the clouds so this market has maintained its overall positive bias in the medium term time frame trading up above the kitchen sense so bullish and uh, bullish in the short term time frame by trading above the 
Tenkan Sen. The Kijin Sen has turned flat and we have seen the price action begin to attract, be attracted back towards that flat Kijun Sen. There is a good possibility that that will continue. So when the Kijun Sen turns flat, quite often price action is attracted back towards there. So that's why it's very important to watch this low of the current candle, which is at 17.65, uh, for a potential continuation of the trend with a lower high and a lower low again. The, uh, just looking across at the chicka span, that's above the corresponding price action, so that's confirming the bullishness that we're seeing in the market in all of these three time frames. Now if this market does continue selling off, then uh, there is potential for support at this swing high at uh, roughly about 1750, 17.53. <coughs> So that's a level that we shall be watching, and as well watching the area around the Tenkan Sen at 17.42, that has p strong potential to uh, offer itself as support as well. Previously, we did see good strong upside momentum to this market, and uh, in the first term time frame, so there is a chance that that will be the first level that uh, will hold as uh, support, other than the swing highs and swing lows. Below these regions, we do have the cloud extending all the way from uh, roughly about 17.25 down through to about 16.88 or so. So strong support below. Resistance overhead, if we do see a change of trend back to the upside, and we have resistance at 18.14. Some minor levels we can see from these uh, shadows on these candles from around 18.45 extending down to that 18.14 region and then no major resistance until we trade up to uh, the 1920 level with a minor level up around 1883. So a crucial day for this market tomorrow. If we do see bearishness in this market, uh, we could be uh, watching the market trade down to around the 1740 area or so roughly or around 1750. Moving on to light sweet crude oil, and uh, here we see a market that continues the trend to the upside. We've had the close above the previous close, so the buyers are keen, and uh, we haven't had a change of trend uh, with the market making a lower high and a lower low. We've actually made a higher high but a lower low, so a lot of indecision in this market at the moment. The buyers were strong enough to trade the market up above the previous day's high, but the sellers were also strong enough to trade the market down below the previous low. And there's a great uh, volatile battle going on between the buyers and the sellers for today's trading. A very large shadow on the top and the bottom as well. We have a doji type candle and that has set this market up for a potential change of trend. And we can see previously we had a fairly strong uptrend where we had uh, no red bodied candles in this uh, major swing that lasted for about five or six days. So there is strong potential for a change of trend back to the downside. If this trend does continue to the upside, obviously the high of the current candle is a uh, fairly strong uh, resistance for this market. And if we trade up above there, there isn't any major resistance until we trade to 100. 100 is a round number, will offer very strong resistance to this market and it's unlikely that the market will trade through there in a hurry. Uh, we do have solid support down below as well. You can see for the, today's trading, the market found support at the 94.64 level, which was previous uh, resistance. And right uh, at that level, or just a few ticks down below, we saw the buyers come back into this market and the sellers lose commitment as they were trading down around that level. So there, if, if we do have this change of trend, uh, we will need to see some good solid downside momentum from the bears. So any strong bearishness that we might see uh, early in the market could be carried through to uh, lower uh, prices tomorrow. But we also have the Tenkan Sen trading down at 93.50 and a half. So uh, that's an area where we uh, potentially could see the market find uh, strong support as well. We uh, have uh, the shadow on the bottom of this candle where we found uh, support down at the Tenkan Sen and then at uh, this point here. And when the market has strong upside momentum, that's usually the first level that will find support. So uh, we should be looking to that area. Below there we have 92.57, then down to 90, and then all the way down through the cloud offering as strong uh, uh, support. Now in Ichimoku charts terms, the market remains bullish in all three time frames. So we're trading up above the cloud, so we're bullish in the longer term time frame. Trading above the Kijun Sen, so bullish in the medium term, and above the Tenkan Sen, so bullish fast term time frame. The ticker span, the orange line here, is above the corresponding price action. 
so that's confirming the overall bullishness that we're seeing in this market at the moment although having said that don't forget that we do have a potential setup for a change of trend with this doji type candle the doji type candle is a candle of much indecision in the market not the sort of candle that you'd like to see at the top of an uptrend previous days trading we had a spinning top type candle which also set the market up for a potential change of trend so these two candles certainly don't offer a lot of confidence for continuation of the trend to the upside so if tomorrow's trading certainly 94.64 is very important but also the high up around the uh, 97.80 or so mark is important Thank you.